you know I'm a vinyl head. I'm a big vinyl nerdy. I don't think I'm too like snobby, like annoying to, you know, cause I, I, I acknowledge streaming. I I'll stream, I stream, I streamed, I streamed before I'll stream again. Uh, I like the convenience of it. I'm not going to lie to you. I love what Neil Young is doing with the high fidelity streaming stuff. I think, you know, whenever that comes to fruition in a major way, it'll be good. I think Spotify could scoop it up and take it and, and start implementing it and, and crushing whatever uh, format is being developed for high def streaming. It's just the reality of our times. But uh, I do, when I have the time, there's nothing like breaking out a nice little vinyl. Oh, the smell, the album cover, the whole nine yards, putting it on, the sound, just the warmth. There's nothing better than it. So I, I am a little bit of an audiophile, I guess, but um, I don't think I'm as bad as some people are out there. But there is an Austrian company that is trying to develop high definition vinyl. And I'm super fascinated by this. By the way, Record Store Day coming up on April 21st. We're going to be at Record Stop Railroad Avenue in Patchogue, just across from Stereo Garden. Good Rat's going to be performing there live for us that day. There's going to be tons of giveaways, turntables and speakers. And we're giving away uh, Governor Ball uh, passes. So... Come on by and see us at Record Stop. All the details and info up for you at WEHM.com. But uh, a patent was filed in 2016, and uh, this company, Rebeat Innovation, just received a uh, almost $5 million investment, and uh, the money is going to go to fund a new laser-cutting process that promises vinyl with 30% longer playing time and a 30% increased amplitude. Uh, Gunter Lobli, L-O-I-B-L. I don't even, I can't even, I can't pronounce names in my own country. I'm not gonna do well with all other countries. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. Let's call him Gunter. Uh, Gunter says that if all goes according to plan, the first HD vinyl could be in stores as early as next year. So to put this all in layman's terms, this is what they're doing. They're putting 600 grand into this laser system, which uses 3D topographical maps of a vinyl's grooves to cut a stamper into a ceramic plate. A stamper is what actually presses the grooves into vinyl. The advantages to traditional vinyl mastering are multifold. For one, the ceramic stamper means there's no quality loss after multiple pressings, usually the nickel plating after a few, I think like a 1,000 or, or 1,500, it starts to wear a little bit. And then, this is super nerdy, I'm sorry. <laughs> but the first pressing will actually literally sound better than the, the last. So they have to replace that a few times during the, the course of a huge run. So there's noticeable differences in quality. Uh, and then the nickel stampers that they use now have a lot of electroplating and uh, that apparently is not good. Uh, it produces a lot of toxic waste. So the 3D map would allow for greater precision, meaning the gap between grooves can be drastically reduced. So then you can cram in actually more audio onto each side of the vital of the vinyl. Also, because of this, you can increase the amplitude, which would enrich the sound, hence HD. Pretty good, right? The company plans to show their first five test stampers at October's Making Vinyl Trade Conference in Detroit. I'm sure Jack White will be there. Uh, Gunter says it will take another eight months to do all the fine adjustments. So by summer 2019, we shall see the first HD vinyls in stores. Great. Got to buy Dark Side of the Moon again. <laughs> um, he says, though, uh, don't worry about buying. It's not like uh, Blu-ray versus DVD. You're not going to have a buy a new record player. Um, it'll play on the old uh, record players. It will just sound a lot better. So we'll see what happens. I know the 180 gram, the, the new albums do sound better. The grooves are a little bit deeper, but apparently they're trying to take it even farther with HD vinyl. Again, another reason to go out and buy Sgt. Pepper's. 
This will be like 20 formats now. I'll have this damn album in. But I got to do it. How could you not? All right, so that's your big, uh, your big music news story of the day.